And now to a vision of the future. Pretty soon it won't just be going to the movies, it will be going into the movies. A new film being made in Wellington will enable the audience to don a headset and become part of the on-screen action. Science and innovation reporter Charlie Drever went out to Miramar Creative Centre for a sneak preview. So I'm at a house in Rotorua and this is one of the main sets of the movies. Now this is just a prototype but already the detail of this is insane. You can even see smudge marks on the windows. Um, it's, it's almost like a, a, a model house that you can go in and, and see the story. The film called Minimum Mass is the brainchild of director Raki Sayed and a group of researchers and students from Victoria University of Wellington. Raki Sayed says those watching the film will be both a spectator and the main characters. It's what I'm calling the quantum leap effect where you can jump into someone's body and experience all of the um, emotional turmoil and the satisfaction that results out of that. The film set in Rotorua and also a science fiction world, following a couple as they grapple with loss after a miscarriage. The sci-fi world the filmmakers are creating uses Rotorua's steamy thermal pools as inspiration, and the steam on screen will move as the viewer moves. They also have to ensure the animated human characters are just right. Richard Roberts is in charge of the technology behind the virtual reality and says making the characters' faces reflect the range of emotions will be a big task. So the challenges are around the rendering, how to get the lighting and um, quality of the skin looking realistic, as well as the animation, so the face needs to move in a way that's convincing. And uh, Unfortunately for us, we're really adept at being able to see when there's something wrong with facial expression, so that's going to be a big challenge for us going deeper into this. Areto Ekavaria is making sure the characters don't just look right, but feel right as well. You meet someone for the first time, there's like these thresholds of, of closeness that you, can, that you can experience with them. In the beginning they're kind of far away and that's fine, but if they start to move closer into your personal space, then um, th 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 that feeling changes quite, quite dramatically, I think. And that's something we want to we want to play with. It's like what happens when these characters like, get right into your personal space. And even if the characters are created by computer software, every good film needs good actors. One of the school's summer scholars, Sheen Pickerskill, will be acting up the entire film in motion capture. He says acting for virtual reality uses a mix of traditional film acting as well as stage acting. More traditional acting on like the stage and screen, you can get away with a lot more on your face. Whereas if you're doing on theatre, you've got to think about more like, how do I show that, those emotions with my body? And uh, especially when you're playing different characters, different people hold themselves in different ways. Like if I'm, if I'm a bit more of a lazy character, I might slouch my shoulders, stuff like that. This would be too obvious for a film because it's like really exaggerated. But for theatre, that's fantastic because you never know how far back the theatre audience are actually going to be. The film will be part of the world's biggest independent film festival, the Sundance Film Festival, in 2020. It is going to be only 15 to 20 minutes long, but in the virtual reality world, that's a massive undertaking. But soon, virtual reality films as long as an hour could be a reality, meaning this film is just the beginning of a whole new cinematic experience. For Checkpoint, Charlie Drever.